Hello, this is Anthony Romrell. Today we're going to talk about UV mapping and we're going to UV map this character for the first time. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our space in Maya. I'm going to come over here. These are little shortcut icons and I'm going to change this icon here just by right clicking and I'm going to change it to the perspective slash UV texture editor. You can see I'm going to have my model to the side in my perspective view and on this side is my UV texture editor. Close my attribute editor to give me myself some more space and I'm going to select my model. Now if you notice here this these are my UVs. Now UVs are coordinates like X, Y, and Z. In 3D space you have X, Y, and Z and in this case you have one direction is U and the other direction is V and they're variables and they could change from program to program. Let me show you why this UV looks this way from in the first place. It's because this pig was built from a cube. And if you can see, here are is the UVs from the cube. Now compare them again to the pig and you can see this basic upside down T sh T shape. So let's get started UV mapping. So UV mapping, the whole point is to take this 3D model and to break it down into smaller, what are called UV islands or blocks of polygons. And we're going to put them here into 2D space so they can be textured in either Maya, Photoshop, ZBrush, or in any other program you're using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to select my model and I'm just going to select these UVs and shrink them down and move them off the screen. Now the first thing you should know is the UVs are only inside this area. Anything hanging out will repeat. So I'm going to show you a technique that I think is really good for making UVs. I'm going to go to face mode and select the arm. Shift select and pull. S excuse me. I'm going to shift hit shift period and grow my selection and I'm going to select this entire arm plus the top of the shoulder here and make sure I've got everything I want also these two objects these two faces now that I have this all selected I need to cut in a seam so to do that I am going to deselect faces along here that I think would form a nice seam now maybe that's not my selection I want. I'm going to undo here because I want good edge flow. So I'm going to instead select this one. And by deselecting this, I'm going to show you a nice trick that Maya that we can do with Maya. I'm going to deselect these faces here. And using just this selection, I'm going to do what's called a planar map. So I'm going to go to Create UVs, Planar Mapping, and I like to use the option of Best Plane. Then I'm just going to simply hit Apply and leave the window open. Now you can see it's created a UV set, but it's not quite what we want, and that's because it's doing the very best it can with my selection here. I'm going to go to UV Mode, select these UVs, then I'm going to use a different tool called Smooth UVs. So I'm going to select that button and I'm going to just click and pull unfold and it's going to unfold this UV map just like this. I can also relax it a bit, unfold it again and there I get a nice even UV set. Now what I need to do is come back to Maya and remember my selection. So I'm going to go to face mode and select this line of faces and I'm going to create an automatic map of this. I'm going to click my smooth tool and excuse me I have to go to UV mode first. I'm going to click my smooth tool and unfold and I'm going to relax this piece and unfold it again and there is my set of UVs that I didn't place here. 
for my seam and I'm going to just add that back in. I'm also going to select this row of faces that I deselected earlier and planar map them. I'm going to go to UV mode for each island. Let's move this one out of the way. I'm just hitting shift period. And I'm going to smooth this island here. And smooth and unfold this island. Now I'm going to take all of these pieces and rotate them and shrink them so that they're all about the same size. I'll select this bit of UVs and I'll shrink this down. And of course these UVs here. Scale these so that they're about this size. And now I'm going to put this arm together. To put the arm together, I'm just going to see which side this is. And this is not the side I want to put my seam on. I would like to put the seam on this side. Now I'm going to show you a trick. That is, I'm going to be very careful not to select this edge, these end pieces right here. Because these UVs are connected by four pieces, um, when I hit a button called Move and Sew, what's going to happen is these pieces are going to come together to another side. And if I select this, it'll actually pull them together more faces, more UVs than I'd like. So I'm going to hit this button right here called Move and Sew. I'm just going to click it, and it's going to sew that together. And then I'm going to unfold this piece again. And you can see my pulls that together nicely. And I'm going to move and sew these UVs here. And move and sew this piece here. And one more. And I'll unfold this again. Just unfold it just like this. And I have a nice even arm. This is now my first UV island.